Hello and a very good afternoon and indeed good morning. Uh, we are Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us once again. It's been a busy old day and certainly very exciting times here as we get ready for the big event starting on Sunday. But I tell you what, before all that, we have got some brilliant shows to bring to you as well. And always this time on a Friday, I think one of my favourite shows actually, uh, Colour Me Happy. And in case you were, look, let's just be honest from the start here because this is just going to be very awkward for me otherwise. Why, Ben, are you holding your cards there is I know what you're saying. Ben, why are you holding your cards there? Well, Fiona, <laughs> let's go now. Uh, I was having a bit of food uh, in between shows and um, I spilt it on my waistcoat. So I have, thanks for the close up guys. So I've, 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 I've cleaned it off, but as you can see, it's not dried in time. Um, so I just, um, I'm hoping, but now you know, it, it, was, it was gonna be awkward, wasn't it? It's gonna be awkward, but now, <laughs> now you know. Um, I should take my wife's advice and she says that I should wear a bib when I eat because I'm forever throwing my stuff uh, <laughs> down me when I'm eating. But listen, that's the reason the waistcoat's dirty. Uh, the reason I am excited is because it is time for Colour Me Happy. And you've just seen a sneak peek of the lovely lady who's joined me for the next couple of hours with a brilliant set of a pens. And let me just tell you, I've been doing so many colouring shows over the past couple of weeks with Fiona. It's the first time I've seen these. I know, and they're brilliant. What these are is the most incredible. This is our top of the range pen. This is where everybody wants to go. This is the Illustrator pen. So if you've got your tri-blends and you want to start playing with the Illustrator, this is a fantastic way to get going. You have got the most incredible Japanese brush nib at one end, and you have got a really fine point at the other, look at that. So that allows you to get into really fine detail, but also to lay color. I am going to show you why these pens are gonna make so much of a difference to your coloring. You will love them. You will fall in love with them. You will want to get this set. Do you know, Ben, this is my um, show before birthday week because I'm not around for birthday week. So this oh. is my show until November. So we're gonna have lots of fun. Absolutely. Well, do you know what? It's funny you should say that because earlier on with uh, Craig, I know he's back tomorrow, but he was saying that he's not uh, not got any birthday shows until much later in the event. So it's kind of like, yeah, your, yours and Craig's sort of birthday yes, shows today. we're having a mini birthday, a birthday light. That's it. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, and listen, by the way, if you've um, already caught a glimpse over Fiona's side of the studio, you've caught a glimpse of my side of the studio as well. Some of the artwork you're going to see on the show is phenomenal. And when you're getting collections like this home, this is the kind of thing that you can build up to you. you might already be there and ready uh, to get working with these illustrators and this set is absolutely amazing let's give you all the details that you need them um, for the collections that we have got this big collection for me i think is um well a phenomenal deal because as we've already discussed you're going to get the Illustrator collection. Again, if you're brand new to colouring or maybe you've just started colouring over the last few uh, weeks and months and you're thinking, well, how are these different maybe to the pens that I've already got? All will be explained, all will be revealed and you'll see these in action. But I, I truly believe if you're looking to make that next step up, if you are kind of, you know, uh, wanting to uh, get further along your colouring journey, these are amazing. You're gonna get uh, 40 markers uh, and you're going to get all of the colors that you need as well so let me take you through all of these you've got basically all of the color families again so it's going to make it nice and easy for you to um, you know get these pens out and get going straight away so there's your basics also included in this collection you've got your vintage and remember double ended once again so you've got your um uh, your nib and you've got your kind of um, brush end as well so you've got you know both ends of the pen to do the the, the kind of big work the the kind of um, intricate work as well now this is your um your delicates then we've also got in here um your now how do you pronounce this verdant verdant i've been getting pronunciations <laughs> wrong all day today Fiona, how do you say no don't worry <laughs> dahlia or dahlia Dahlia. Ah, so you're on my team. Uh, you're on my team. Definitely a Dahlia. Yeah. Uh, talking of Dahlias, nice little link there. This is your um, beautiful botanical. So again, just looking through these colours, yeah. Fiona, whilst I'm looking at these swatches, uh, for people who are thinking about getting these and maybe fairly new to colouring, yeah. you've got them all in the colour families, haven't you? You've got them in the colour families, but better still, you can layer with these ones. Because you've got the brush nib on here, you can layer colour. So I can make a green out of blue and yellow. I mean, get out. You really haven't been able to do this with your alcohol pens unless you've got the brush nib we're going to be doing all of that and so much more as soon as we get demoing 
Um, so just to quickly show you the, uh, the final colours that you've got, there's your fiery. Also in this collection, you've got your natural. You can see how all of your um, colours really are ticked off here. Those are your essentials. And then finally... Blender pen, blender pen. Oh, blender, blender pen. pen, yes, pen, sorry, pen. sorry, yes, you mentioned that. Go on, go on, blender pen. <laughs> blender pen. We've got a blender pen in this collection. That is fantastic. It comes with the essentials kit. This allows you to get those lighter colours. We're going to be getting transparency with the blender pens as well during the two hours that we've got to really put these pens to their task. Blender pen. Blender pen. Blender pen pen. And, <laughs> and your stylish as well. So you've got all of the pens in there, your blender pen, but that is not all in this collection as you're going to see. Shall I show you um, the um, stamps that you're going to get as well? So you're going to get all of these stamps um, included too. So you know what, if you're going to get a new set of um, pens, you want to be colouring with something. So six sets of stamps. I can show you uh, the imagery that, you are, uh, that you're going to get here. So um, your stamps that you're going to get within these collection uh, are as follows. So you've got these beautiful flowers in here. We have also got, I mean, take a look at this fox, absolutely majestic, this fabulous fox. We were talking about foxes a little bit earlier on and raccoons as well. Oh. I had foxes um, who built a den in my garden under the um, under the decking, and they had two cubs. Really? With, yeah, this this the, well, it's not this year, a couple of years ago, Aww. and so the cubs used to come out and play in the summer. It's very sweet. My husband hated them, but I love them. Oh, I like foxes. Ah. Anyway, you got a fox. Yes. Also, um, you got um, some cats in here. So, oh wait. Wait till I tell you my cat story when we should get going in the show. Oh dear, what, what a weekend I've had with my cat. 400 and odd pounds later. Wow. More on that to come. Um, that is, <laughs> that is their catitude. <laughs> Next up um, in the stamp collection, you've got this uh, beautiful meadow hair. I love the fact as well that you've got kind of um, different artwork with each of these. Yeah, stamps, I mean, you? they're absolutely stunning. And these stamps are photopolymer stamps. These are not acrylic stamps. They're photopolymer stamps. They are made in the UK. They are top of the tree stamps to go with top of the tree pens. Uh, next up, you have got um, this beautiful <gasps> I love uh, little that. doggy. Use a pause for thought. What that is, is just gorgeous, isn't it? Is it? I love that image. Is that a little Shih Tzu? It is. Yeah. And then finally, again, just proving that you've got a whole host of different images in here. Uh, you have got this one, which it's is a field the, mouse. Uh, the field mouse. Yeah, I just wondered oh. if it had like a, you know, a funny name with it, but no, field mouse. Yeah. Very cute. Now, all of those stamps are included. Not only that, as well as the pens, you are also going to get this amazing contraption here and if you look at this for the first time we go well what on earth is this the rocker blocks now these again are going to allow you to um, stamp much more easily for you aren't yeah they? absolutely so if you have a challenge when you're over stamping so you get ink everywhere this is a lovely way to get going and i'll be explaining how best to use these straight as, straight after we demonstrate great um so your rocker blocks and then also you have got your um your uh Come on, Ben. You die. Your ink. That's it, your ink Couldn't pad. Couldn't think of the name now. Ink pad. Well done, Ben. Uh, that is also <laughs> included too. Sorry, I was, I was sort of listening to what they Key were saying in my terms. ear as well. Um, but listen, normally do that without a bother. A hundred pounds or a hundred and forty-eight dollars. Uh, look at the saving that you're making here. I think that is wow. a fantastic bundle for that price. Amazing. Um, now listen. Uh, we're going to make this nice and social and nice and interactive this afternoon. Already lots of you getting in touch, um, like Monica and Shannon and Sarah. Uh, OMG, says Sarah, I have these. I'm using them now. Listen, if you are colouring, uh, let us see what you're up to right now. Get social with us on Facebook, on Instagram. You can almost, almost, you can also uh, get in touch with us too. It's going well today, isn't it? Let's get this right. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Said it right this Yay. time. Send us in your pictures. Uh, if you've already got these, let us know what you think about them. And also, if you have got, <laughs> if you've got any questions at all, uh, you, you can, um, sorry, they're taking the mickey out of me. <laughs> It, it, you, you, it is Friday. Oh, roll on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> you can also get in touch with us. Ask. Oh, yeah, it's the same team, isn't it? Roll on next week. Uh, you can get in touch with us and ask Fiona any questions. That's what I'm trying to say. But listen, enough of me blabbering on, making no sense whatsoever. Fiona has got these pens, so let's have, have a look at these. I have. So we're going to go right back to the beginning in case this is the first time you've seen them. This 
is the illustrator pen so as you, you saw before you've got a brush nib on that end and you have got a super fine tip on that end so for your super fine tip it means you can get into really small areas as yeah. you can see there but you could if you want oh. right with it you've got a posh little signature there there we go Very nice. but the the bullet nib is great for things like flicking so when you're doing fur hair skin grass leaves beautiful for creating those flicks but look you can also mm. color in quite a large area and you can get different intensities depending on how much ink you put down that is great however if i just grab the yellow so i've got my blue down here but if i grab my yellow and now look at this so that's my yellow color just so you can see this is a canary yellow but look Wah -ha -ha. oh yes before our very eyes so you can turn that into a beautiful green you want a lighter green let's put a little more yellow going on there you want a deeper blue or maybe just a lighter shade of blue you can layer these colors up this is why those 40 pens you're going to be able to make a myriad of colors with these they're absolutely fantastic you will love them they are super easy to use and when you can see what more you can do because of this fantastic brush nib you will be blown away and you'll see why these are going to work beautifully alongside any other pens that you may happen to have like your tri blends and, and that well i've got two questions actually first question yes. uh, and it was obviously okay because you just did it so going over the the, the tops of all those colors you're not going to affect the, the nib no no no, okay. absolutely not. And in fact, we're going to do something where we palette blend, where I pick up a darker colour with a lighter colour and blend with it as well, as well as more on this layering technique as well. Um, and also the other question to ask is that a lot of people perhaps who've been watching us recently will see the Colour Me Happy shows and seen all of the different types of um, markers that we do. Um, we talk about professional a lot with these illustrators. If you yep. are still fairly new to colouring, um, you can still you, you can still get these. Can't you? you can still come yes. in and, and get these straight away and work with these. Absolutely. I'm going to show you how you can colour an image with one pen and get all that depth and dimension just with one pen. Now I have got this gorgeous pause for thought character oh. here. He just I mean just heart meltingly wonderful. So I'll use the pebble. Now, the alcohol proof inks mean that you can colour immediately with your alcohol pens and they are not going to bleed or smudge or do anything daft like that. So, we're going to pop that down and then I'm going to stamp. Now, we're using a rocker block. You've got two runners either side here. What that does is it means any of this transfer is not going to go onto my paper and cardstock. And how you use a rocker block is like this. Yeah. You pop it on its heel, then you can see where I'm holding the two rails at the side, and then you rock forward and off. Oh, perfect. There we are, a perfect image. Now, they want a couple of tips, don't use your stamping mat because this is too soft. So you do it when on a hard surface. So yeah. if this is your first go, that's all you actually need to get going. now. So now I've got that gorgeous image and we are going to use our spectrum. Now this is the earth brown and the earth brown is from the natural four pack that yes. you're getting. Uh -huh. So we're going to just do the tip. Now, look, what we're going to do is we're just going to flick some color down his back. Can you see how great that looks for fur as well? Yeah. Gives him a really silky coat. Fur and skin, very difficult to get the right colour for and get the, the, the right kind of blend, aren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. But this is so easy and this is a fantastic image mm. to, to start your colouring journey. It really is. So you can see I'm just flicking up from his front leg. So that is one layer of colour. Yeah. So now I want to start darkening this. So I'm going to go over again. Now look. So are you pressing harder this time? No, I'm not pressing harder. I'm just literally putting a second layer of colour over the first. So because I want it to be darker at the end, I'm just literally layering that colour over where I've already layered that colour down. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And then again on his tail, I'm going to go in and put a second layer just on there so where i'm going over it you can see it's getting darker yeah at the back right you can keep going 
Now, sometimes it is useful just to let the alcohol evaporate before you start add adding your extra layers so you really know what colour you're working with. But you can just keep going and keep flicking. I mean, just how amazing is this? So can you see all the depth and dimension that I'm getting? How deep that colour is? So one pen, everything from this deepest colour yeah. right to the darkest colour down on his shoulder. Isn't that gorgeous? I do it. We'll do his um, hair as well. I mean, just absolutely lovely. So again, the brush nib, just use it very lightly. The more upright you use it, the more of a fine point you get. There we go. And I noticed the way that you're kind of using the pen as well is, 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 is as if it were a brush, yeah. do you know what I mean? Rather than how you p p perhaps normally yes. think that you would colour with a, with a marker or a pen. Absolutely. And I mean, I just think the nib on this really makes a difference to your colouring because you're almost just wafting the colour over the top. I'm barely adding any pressure on that at all. But let's say, can you see all the different depth and shade that I've got going on with him already? Yeah. If you want that even darker, you can always go in with your smaller nib and just add another deeper layer. Now, if I turn this card over, you'll see how that translates on the back of the image. So can you see where I've got lots of colour? Yes. The cardstock, it's coming through the cardstock. Where I've just put that one layer of lighter cardstock, it isn't. If I bring in this one, this is an image I coloured at home. So you can tell from that where the darker areas are going to be. So they're going to be here where you've got that intensity of colour. Mm -hmm. And if I turn this one over, oh, how wow. cute. But look, so that is all from one pen huh. using that. You can see how you can build up the colour. You've got a little bit of red. Obviously, I didn't get the red from the brown pen, but I used the red that which is in the stylish. But, you know, if you love that image, look at that one. Oh. I mean, just how gorgeous are these? They're just adorable, aren't they? And really, really simple to colour. If you can pick up one pen, you can do that little fella. He's gorgeous. And, and also, the point of, that, do you know what? If you give it a go first time and it doesn't quite work out the way that you want it to, I mean, worst case scenario, you've wasted a bit of cardstock or you've wasted a bit of paper. It's not the end of the world. But you'll get to grips with these so quickly. And actually, you saw how simple it was uh, to create that kind of um, level of blendability, that intensity of colour as well. Uh, with these, I think it's a really, really lovely uh, bundle. All those 40 markers um, with the 23 stamps, the rocker blocks included as well. Loads of you already commenting on what a great collection uh, this is. Um, Carol says, uh, this show was made for Fiona. Just love what she brings to us. Laurie on Facebook says, illustrators rock. Um, and Sam says, I love my rocker blocks. You get all of them included with this set. And remember, uh, £100 or $148, less your uh, platinum membership, of course, as well. 20% off all orders if you're a, uh, a platinum member. Uh, brings it down to £80 today. 10% um, of that stock has already gone. Now, if you perhaps um, are thinking to uh, go for a few of these, maybe you don't want the whole collection, maybe you want to pick and choose, we do have a multi-buy available for you as well. So if there's a, a particular um, collection that you want to go for, you can do on a three for two. So you've got the, uh, the, the, the four pens within each set, $9.99 or $14.95, they're on a three for two. So we've got um, all of the colours, as we mentioned, that you get in the main collection, uh, your verdant, your fiery, uh, your vintage, all proving very popular the uh, aquatic as well uh, the essentials don't forget is the collection which brings you that blender pen so if you specifically want specifically want to go for that uh, then that is within uh, the essentials all of those on a three for two, as I've said. Now, um, again, if you just kind of want to um, dip your toe in the water just a little bit, we've got a uh, an essentials collection or a, a starter collection, if you like, um, which is going to bring you a 12 pack of your, um, your illustrator pens, um, the sketching pack, as we call it. So this brings you um, all of these amazing colors that you can see here. So your daffodil, your sunshine, yellow green, salad, uh, your pearl blue, denim, Lilac, Hydrangea, Baby Pink, Fruit Pink, Pale Tan and Apricot. Uh, now also with this collection you're going to get um, stamps included with this too. Again, nice to be able to get going with this isn't it? So um, worth uh, $4.99 uh, each those or $6.95 so you've got that beautiful 
um, butterfly. You've got the mother nature there as well. That's proving really popular uh, on its own, but you get all of that together. So it's kind of, as I say, um, dip your toe in the water kind of thing because you do get the ink pad and you get the, um, the rocker blocks included with this um, smaller bundle as well, if you wanna go for that. 37.46 or 59.84 um, if you want to go for that. And actually, interestingly, as Fiona was saying earlier on, if you like all of these, you can add this collection to your main collection because I think you said there's only, there's only yeah. one crossover, isn't there? There's only one crossover and that's the canary yellow, but that is such a good color because it is the primary color. It's a primary yellow and I'll explain why that's important in a minute. It's worth having two of them. So I would go for both sets when we've got them on such a fabulous deal. But I know, Ben, you've got one which we desperately wanted to show, didn't we? I mean, take a look at this. Um, I'm surrounded by some amazing pieces That's incredible. of artwork here. But this is one with, I mean, how on earth? How on earth? That is stunning, phenomenal, isn't it? Phenomenal, isn't it? Just phenomenal. And I think this really gives you a bit of an idea of the level of professionalism that yeah. you can achieve with these markers. Because that's, that's almost like a photograph. It yeah, it really is, isn't it? And um, the, the thing is, Yes, colouring and drawing takes practice, but when you've got the best things to work with, that practice in itself is enjoyable. And the fun thing about this is it doesn't matter where you start, the journey's part of the experience. And this is a fantastic set to take you on that next step of your journey. Uh, I'm just blown away by that. And we've got even more to show you a little bit later on. As I've said, um, get in your pictures as well. We want to see what you have been colouring. We want to see what you've been doing. Maybe you are colouring along with us right now. Uh, you can email us, of course, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Oh, yes, and there's always a, a free download as well. If you go to our uh, website, uh, you'll be able to find that there and uh, get colouring along with us. But as I say, if that is not a, an amazing example as to what you can achieve, I don't know what is. Now, if you're going for all of these pens, you're going to want to make sure that you can keep them nice and safe and actually have them to hand when you want them. Well, take a look at this. This is the uh, Spectrum Noir uh, black pen trays, 12 trays. It is on I buy one, get one free. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so normally 39 98 19 99 is all you pay and you will get um, 12 trays there for you. Uh, plenty enough to store all of your pens in from, uh, from this particular show if you're going to these uh, in the main collection. So $19.99 or $24.95, as I say, if you're spending good money on these pens, great to have them stored uh, properly and great to have them to hand as well um, for when you are getting on with your colouring. Um, this big bundle is proving really, really popular, not surprised at all. Uh, and wait till you see some of the cards yeah. that has got over there. Look at that cat! This is lovely, isn't it? This is grumpy cat. I I love this and it says I love your fluffy personality but can you see that it's exactly the same technique as we used on the paws for the thought stamp yes absolutely gorgeous with the digital stamp or maybe that incredible wow. fox isn't that gorgeous or the little dormouse on an ear of corn and then you've got this fantastic florals now this is the floral stamp you're getting with those sets today all that's happened here is it's been layered up so you've got an incredible bouquet but you know if you are a seasoned artist and you want coloring which Whoa. looks like that how incredible is that that is colored with illustrators huh. how stunning is it i mean this is next level isn't Just it? this is amazing yeah just amazing. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to use the fresh florals. Right. Have a look at these two images I've got here. That image there, which I've made them look a bit like um, French marigolds, really. So you've got that orangey look and you've got those wonderful green stems. That image yes. was coloured with three of those pens. Get out. I know. We this is a basic set. Yeah. This is a basic set, which is one of the fours that you're getting. Yeah. So I'm only going to use three of those colours, these three here, to colour that image. I know it's magic, isn't it? It's magic. What this is this wizardry? I know, it's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? And the thing is, the reason you can do this is because you can layer these and the reason you can layer these so easily is because of that fantastic brush nib so let's just lay down some yellow just on this stem here 
absolutely gorgeous i mean wow so there we go so there is your yellow and then we're just going to lay some of that blue over it as well and we're just going to keep layering until we get the color green uh, that we yes. want look at this remember 9.99 if you want to be able to copy this technique uh, details on your screen now for the basics uh so three for two it could well be that uh you know you go for the three for two because you know 999 for the one set is great but then add some more of your favorites in there as well um and just pay for uh the two it all blends very very quickly it does it? it blends super super easy look at that so if you want that slightly lighter you can go over the areas that you want lighter so for example the stem of this stalk i'm going to make a little bit lighter by just taking that yellow down the center again, you automatically get that lighter area. And again, just down here, I'm just going to have a lighter area on that side. Remember, of course, you've also got this bullet nib. So where you've got smaller areas, you can get in and use the bullet nib to color those areas in as well. Look at this. So this is your basics set of four yep. that you're getting in that incredible collection. I mean, essentially, if you if you go for that collection today, you're getting all of the stamps. How much do you say the pens were? Three for two, uh, nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. And we've got ten packs in there. Yeah. So there's your hundred pounds. So you're basically getting all the stamps. Yeah, and, and the rocker box and the ink pad and the ink pad. Yeah, as all a, as a yeah. As a there you go. Have fun. <laughs> there you go thanks very much yeah, have a great weekend they are they are just amazing and i mean imagine being able to take your time look how fine i can get in with that bullet point it's just um with the tip of the pen it is just so so easy and then we're just going to go down again and that's why again i think you know you you'll notice we've been talking about these being you know sort of the next step you'll see on all the packaging like professional results but you know if you are quite new to coloring um you know, don't be put off by that because you can see actually how easy it is to uh, create something like this maybe if you're just starting off with the three for two or going for one of the collections and there's so much out there as far as kind of um, you know this show you can watch back whenever you want uh, and there's lots of other um, color me happies that you can go back on and pick up uh, techniques but there's, there's lots out there is what I'm trying to say to kind of yeah. help people isn't there there really there really is there's loads of inspiration you've got all those wonderful color me happy downloads that mm. you can be downloading and practicing with as well but you know the stamps I love because there's enough space in there that you can get the pens in nice and easily to get the color that you desire and you can just this is just one of a few techniques we're going to play with today but look how quickly i mean that is nothing like the blue or the yellow that i was putting down is is Definitely it so not. let's have a look at this flower here so now we're going to swap out the blue and we're going to use the poppy red surprise surprise so again i'm starting with the yellow but you can start with the um red if you prefer just have a play see which one works for you but then as i pop this over there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color a, a petal so you can see what actual color the ink comes out of the pen yeah so there we go so that is the red as it comes out of the pen and you've seen the yellow but now you can actually alter look just by going over it with that yellow. And that is why I said, if you're gonna have a double of any pen, a double of the canary yellow, which is the color I'm using, yeah. is definitely the one to go for. And this is, again, is just one of the techniques that we're going to use. But you can see that turning orange, can't yeah. you? You can see- Before your very eyes. Before your very eyes. It is magic. It is absolute magic. I love it. I absolutely love it. And do you know, I love, the fact the simplicity of it yeah. the fact you've got that brush nib which is what is doing all the hard work here and yes i mean i can take time coloring an image but for the purposes of the demonstration yeah you want to see the magic happen don't but you but also for the fact of you know you as i said earlier on if you are worried thinking oh you know what what will work with what how how, how will it blend I mean, worst case scenario, well, you stamp something out and it doesn't quite work the way you wanted to. You try again, don't you? I mean, definitely. I, I would imagine a lot of this is sort of just just trying things and. But a bit of I trial mean, and error, how you can't go wrong with no. this. Look, all I'm doing 
is flicking colour onto it. There's nothing magic about that, is there? If you can pick up a pen, you can do this. Mm. You absolutely can do this because there is nothing magical going on there except you're getting the most sensational, intense colour in that wonderful flower. So look, we'll do it really quickly. Can you see I'm, <laughs> I'm going through it now. I'm going straight over all of those areas I've stamped yeah. and the colour isn't moving one jot, is it? Not one jot. And then we'll just flick in some red as well. How long do these pens last as well? You're going to get oh, a long time out of them. How long's a piece of string? I've yeah. had mine since they were launched and they're still as you can see they're still going strong this is my set i've brought up with me today yeah um and they're wonderfully juicy and absolutely gorgeous and yeah i mean these are going to last a long time if you if you're comparing them to the tri blends yeah they've got a lot more ink in them because uh -huh. you've got a single color in a big pen yeah as opposed to the tri blends where you've got a smaller barrel got you so, but you know, if you've got colours you want to mix and match and you want to use the two pens together, you absolutely can do that. Now look, here we go. I'll just get some yellow going on in there. Oh, wow. There we go. I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? So if we go yellow there, I'm going to put a little bit of blue just around the edge here. So I'm just putting a little bit of blue and you, you might be wondering why I did that because then when you go over with the red you get a sort of deep sort of purpley browny colour so that enables you to get the, the deepness. Now look at the depth that I've got in the centre I of like, that flower. I don't know if anyone else, you can see this before your very eyes as well, like I, I mean you can see it changing can't you? You can yeah. see it. And look at that. I mean, it's just it's just such good fun. You need to get these home. You need to be playing with that brush nib. You know, they are sensational. And we have just touched, touched the very tip of what we're going to do. I think we might play with the blender pen next. Oh, yes. Yes, we are going to uh, get the blender pen, Ben, out. Um, <laughs> 20% of the stock has gone, 20%. Remember, you're getting all of the, uh, the pens in here, uh, plus the blender pen. You've got 40 markers, 23 stamps included as well, including that really cute little doggy. Uh, you've got your rocker blocks, and you've got your ink included in there too. 100 pounds is amazing. Anyone who loves their coloring, if you're watching us today and you're shopping maybe for Christmas gift ideas, again, that is a super, super buy and just gets you into um, colouring, gets you into kind of uh, blending nice and quickly and you've seen how easy it is uh, to work with this collection. As we said, if you don't want to go for the full collection, that's fine. We do have the uh, three for two deals for you and we've got that kind of essentials kit that we mentioned earlier on where you'll get the 12 sketching uh, markers. You'll also get the um, stamps with that as well and then of course your rocker blocks and that ink pad as well. So that, that's an option for you. Again, if you don't want to spend £100 today, £37.46 uh, is the price on that, or £59.84. Now, uh, next up, if you are, you know, really wanting some stuff to get colouring with, then th these are amazing. Uh, this is the, uh, the Connie Fong um, collection. Uh, detail is going to come up on your screen here. Uh, first time I've seen these, and actually, when I, um, when I picked these up earlier on, I was just like, oh my goodness, these are too cute. I absolutely love, love, love these. And well, you'll see for why particularly in just a few moments time. But there are, this is a deal, right? 51 stamps in this collection for 30 pounds or $40. It's a 15% saving. And I just think at this time of year particularly, for the imagery that you're gonna get as well, you're gonna have so much fun coloring these. Wanna get the kids doing stuff on the lead up to Christmas, maybe making your, uh, you know, getting them making their own cards this year for uh, friends, family, the teachers maybe as well. These will be amazing. So this is the first one that you're gonna get within this collection, which is Santa's Little Helper. Um, love it, as I say, you've got the little um, sack of toys there as well. Uh, little helper, nice list. Um, and you've got all of these um, beautiful sentiments included there as well. Also, you've got um, Sally's Christmas Friends. Again, you can see that um, cute little image of the little girl there decorating the tree with all the presents surrounded by it as well. Imagine getting your illustrators um, on these stamps. Boy, oh boy, you're going to have an amazing time. Uh, next up, this is Molly's Joy. Um, again, 
fact that you've got the illustrators there allowing you to get um, you know, a really amazing skin tone on this particular character. Um, and then you've got all of those other stamps included on there as well. The gloves, a little hat. Love the um, sentiments as well. Sending love and joy, joy to the world. Uh, next up, this is uh, Molly's Christmas. Again, just really, really cute imagery. Love the little Christmas tree. You've got the little um, dog there as well. He's got a little Christmas jumper on. Ah, so, so cute. My dog's got a Christmas jumper. Uh, you've also got uh, your little cat there as well. He's wearing a little scarf. These are t seriously too cute. Uh, next up, um, we have got um, uh, Holly, what's this one called? Holly Poinsettia. Um, again, really lovely, of course, with that uh, beautiful Christmas plant in there as well. Uh, even more sentiments, Christmas gift, uh, Merry Christmas. And here's me fave, here's me fave coming up now. Hey, Benny's Christmas. I, I mean, bet that was you when you were little. Who does that remind you of? Yeah, I bet that was you when you were little. Do you know what? Actually, <laughs> it, do, it, do, it does look a little bit like me, you know? Yeah. Always on the nice list. Always there <laughs> pulling along a Christmas tree and some presents in a little... Uh, little trailer there with my cat and a scarf i mean that could have just been a picture from my childhood uh, but the point here is how cute are these images from connie fong they're, they're fantastic lovely. aren't they she's an american illustrator and she is we're absolutely delighted that we've got this license the stamps are made again from um photopolymer here in the uk but look at some of these images doesn't that adorable so there you've got benny's christmas just there oh little benny then you've got molly's christmas there with with the poncetia she's carrying the presents then you've got the holly poncetia i mean they are just so cute and they are really easy to color as well so that is molly's joy absolutely beautiful and then i love this one too look at that santa's little helper isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then finally here we go you've got the lovely the lovely one with the christmas tree i'm going to struggle to get that one the right way up i'll just keep rolling it there we go <laughs> <laughs> until until we get it the right way up there we go but they are gorgeous now i'm going to be using one of these let me just pop those back in the right place right here we go i'm going to be using this one which is Molly's Joy. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. There we go. This is what you get with Molly's Joy. You're not only getting Molly herself, you're also getting Joy to the World. You've got Sending Love and Joy, just a little Christmas note. You've got little snowflakes. You've got wonderful mittens. You've got an extra little hat so you could mat and layer the hat on top of there as well. So that's the set I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these pens. Now, this is the set of four stylish collection which comes in that big bundle but it's a set of four so there we go so you've got the cherry red and then your ice grays two six and ten yeah and i've brought in the blender which is part of the essentials kit there we go so we'll just stamp this out so i'll just say again if you're not used to rocker blocks this is how you're going to use them. We're going to stamp it up. And this is a pebble. The pebble's a lovely colour. It's a sort of grey-brown. Really nice one to use. Doesn't make the lines too prominent when you're colouring in, which yeah. is why I like it. So and it, when you use the rocker block, do you have to apply a lot of pressure or is it just literally just a, a roll, it's rock even, and roll? It's even pressure. You'll, you'll, you'll notice what I'm doing yeah. is there's some crosshairs on this stamp just here there's some crosshairs there yeah. so i'm holding the two outside layers with my fingers and then i've got my my fingers in the center here yeah and then you just roll down rock off there's your perfect image and because you've got you've got that perfect combination here of that beautiful photopolymer stamp it's and that ink you just get that really crisp really crisp yeah. image now what we're going to do is we're going to use predominantly the ice grey six and two and the blender to color this whole image so what i want to do is the first thing i'm going to do is just pop down some of the blender just on her little boots on her little leggings there so again people who've seen this for the first time tell us tell us why you love that blender so much okay what that blender does is enables you to add a transparency yeah. to the colour that you're working with. Because look 
as I'm flicking this light grey in, can you see on the edges where I haven't put the colour, where I haven't put the blender, yeah. you've got a deeper colour grey yes. than where I have already. Uh -huh. So we'll do that again, just on her shoe, and this time I'll use the ice grey, so hopefully you'll be able to see. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit of light just there on her shoe, and then I'm going to go in with the ice grey 6, and we're just going to blend. Now look at the difference between where I've put the blender oh, yes. in the centre and as that dries that's going to become more prominent each time. And that works so, with all of the colours? It got. will work with all of the colours but it's really fun to do it with this grey colour yeah. as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do her little leggings and I'm just going to use that same technique each time to, to get this going. So I've got the blender in the centre there of her shoe I'm going in with the lightest colour grey just over and as I'm flicking it in can you see the centre of her shoe it is staying lighter and then I'm going to go in with the darker grey just on the side of her shoe there. I love, it's the first time I've seen these um, Connie Fong images and they're I think gorgeous aren't they? They just really caught my eye when we were yeah. uh, planning for the show earlier on I just I just think they're really cute. I think they are everyone's little grandson or granddaughter or nephew or niece. I mean, talking about nephews, not that my nephew is this age anymore, but my nephew's birthday today. Oh. So happy birthday, Ryan. Not that he'll hear me because he's at sea. Oh. He's, um, he's where? He's at sea. He's at sea? Um, doing his apprenticeship as a marine engineer. Oh. So he's actually spending his birthday on the boat this year. Wow. So, uh, yeah. But he's twenty this year. Oh, well, so see, and see, this, uh, straight away when you said my nephew, I thought, I thought, oh, you know, he's going to be like, I, I thought little. And when he said he's at sea doing his yeah. marine apprenticeship, I was like, wow, wow, <laughs> yeah. Do you, but do you know the thing is with these images, they remind me of the kids when they were small. Yeah, they really, really do. So I just want to lighten just down her, her little leg there. Yeah. Can you see how how different that, that blender pen is making these work? It's just gorgeous, isn't it? But you can get into all that detail. Now remember, I'm only actually using two different shades of grey here. Yes. Which is extraordinary, really, isn't it? So we'll just put a little bit deeper there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of grey on the bubble. Shall I show you where I'm going with this? So bear in mind, keep an eye with that leg. Oh, wow. Isn't that good? Not what Isn't I was expecting. Isn't that good? That's brilliant. And then if I bring this one in, that's her made up into a complete card. So you don't have to go full on colour. The monochrome with the blender pen is sensational. That's like, the reminds me of those photographs that you see now at weddings where they sort of do it in monochrome and then you've got like the, the, the bride holding um, the, like the bouquet at the front yes. with a splash of colour. Same sort of effect. Well, talking about black and white photos, stay tuned because we'll be playing with those later. <gasps> love that little tease there. there stay tuned. Um, I, I absolutely love these. Um, you've got to get the Connie Fong stamp seriously. Those are, are lush. I love them. I've got a lot of time for them. Now listen, uh, a lot of people going for the um, main collection, but lots of people um, going for the, um, the three for two as well. So I'll just quickly take you through the swatches of colours that you've got here uh, so you can see all of the different colours. So um, so uh, first up, oh hang on, I've got, I've got to match them. Oh, you're going to match to me. Okay, so this is basics first of all. Or this is going to be a fun game, see if I can uh, match the uh, match the colour swatches out. So there we go. So these are basically $9.99 or $14.95 and they're on a three for two as well. Um, I've got the uh, stylish coming up next, guys. I'm just going to give them a bit of a heads up. All right, so you can see all of the four colours that you are going to get uh, within this collection. Uh, your essentials is uh, next. So this is the one with the blender. Yeah, so that's the one that you just saw um, a few moments ago. If you want to add that in your three for two, I think that is very, very worthwhile going for. Uh, coming up next, we've got your natural. Um, okay, again, so I guess um, great for all of your um, your skin tones here as well. And uh, was that the one I think we saw Fiona using for the fur a little bit earlier on? Uh, next up is the fiery. Hang on a minute, how are we doing? Is this just is this just uh, coincidence that we're doing this in order now, or are you guys? They're no. just clever. They are clever. Is the uh, is the fiery? 
Uh, next up is the, aqua I'm going to hide the card so they can guess. Uh, next up is the uh, aquatic. <laughs> Remember these are 9 99 uh, and 14 95 Three for two as well. This is botanical. Um, this next one here, I caught them out this time, you see. This is a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, those four colours you're going to get uh, for $9.99. We've got your Verdant. I think... Oh, hello! What's going on there? Way! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. <laughs> Press a button, any button. There's your Verdant. We've then got your... Uh, we've got your Delicates. And then... Here it comes. There we go. Nine ninety nine, forty ninety five, And then finally, take a look at those, which is your Vintage. So... It, it kind of depends what sort of budget you're looking at, really, doesn't it? But do you know what? Whichever way you go, $9.99 uh, gets you uh, one set of $4.95. You can get a three for two if you've you know, got the sort of um, $30 or, or, or £20, as it were. Or if you want to go for the big bundle, you get the lot um, for £100 or $148. And I actually like Fiona's way of thinking with that as well, because if you consider all of the markers that you're going to get there, $9.99 each, you've got 10 packs of pens, but then we're going to give you um, all of those stamps as well. Should I get those out again? Where are they? I've lost my boards. Uh, lost my boards. Uh, you've got all the stamps, six sets of stamps you've got. Then you're also going to get your rocker blocks and you're going to get um, your ink included as well for £100, saving forty-four eighty-two. So it's almost as if you're getting all of that and all of that for free. Amazing. Uh, $148, £100. Take off your platinum membership as well. If you've got platinum, take off another 20%. That brings that down to £80, doesn't it? Wow. Um, here in the UK, which really is wow, wow, wow. Um, lots of you saying how much you love your illustrators. Uh, lots of you saying you love the um, the stamps as well. Do send in your pictures. Um, we want to see what you've been up to, what you have been colouring, particularly uh, you know, if you've got any of these stamps. Maybe you've got some of the Connie Fong stamps as well. We would love to see what you've been doing. But particularly if you've been using these illustrators, uh, do get in touch. These are the, um, the stamps that you're going to get within this uh, collection. Again, love the fact that you've got all of the different sort of um, designs in there, lots of different styles, um, including that beautiful field mouse. You've got your little dog and your cat. I mean, that dog is just too cute. The, um, the Shih Tzu, you've got the hare, that beautiful fox, and then you've got some fantastic uh, flowers in there as well. So I think, you know, imagery for everybody um, and the fact that you've got all of these different colours allows you to put a real professional twist on your colouring. So, so simple to get into, as we've seen. Um, you do, you know, we talk about these, I suppose, as being our, you know, sort of top-notch pens, if you like, um, and kind of that next step on your colouring career, but actually, you've seen how easy it is to get working with these pens and to get blending as well. You know what? You're going to be working with these in no time at all. Take a look at that beautiful field mouse. We've got the stunning, um, stunning hair there as well. And then, Look at those cats, just gorgeous. Look at that fox, so majestic. And then again, these beautiful flowers, just top notch. And this is achievable for all. It really, really is. Again, if you're sort of brand new to this, lots more to come on this show. Plenty more out there as well. Uh, you can watch back on the Colour Me Happies too. Don't forget to um, get your free downloads as well. Uh, and you very quickly will be uh, coming very, very good at this. And what a lovely hobby to have as well. What a lovely craft to get into. Now, whether you're going for the main collection or maybe you're sort of pick and mixing and you're going the three for two, you will need somewhere to store them because I tell you what, you want to store them correctly. Well, we've got a great deal as far as the trays are concerned. These are on a, uh, well, buy one, get one free, aren't they really? $19.99 for um, the 12 trays. Normally $39.98, you pay $19.99 today. Uh, great for the fact that you can stack them vertically. Uh, you can obviously um, have them horizontally as well if you like, but great that you can keep all of your pens in there nice and neat uh, and ready to go when you want to use them um, and just keeps them all nice and neat in one place for you as well. 144 pens you can store in there, um, so plenty of room for all of these markers and then more as well. Uh, right, let us get back to some more demos and let us see what uh, Fiona has got up her sleeve over there. Okay, well, in fact, I'm going to mix a couple of the sets now. So I'm going to use that essentials kit. I'm going to use the stamp 
and the sketching collection in there and I'm also adding in one of the delicates which is cream so I have got from the sketching set yes I have got pale tan apricot and baby pink and I'm adding in the cream which is in the delicates it's one of the full pack of the delicates I'm also using that mother nature stamp it is sensational now this is how it comes to to you this yep. is gray rubber i was searching around for a pair of scissors and they've left me the smallest pair of scissors <laughs> in the world there's a challenge for you yeah i know so but look this is how easy these are to use all you have to do is roughly yeah cut them out now i'm not going to cut out the whole one but i just wanted you to see how easy it was even with the smallest pair of scissors in the world ever use a proper pair of scissors I can scissors see some bigger scissors over quicker. there if you want them that's fine yeah. so you can see look you can see how easy it was to cut out that edge that's the one I'm using you can see I've just cut her out inked her up and stamped her out grey rubber gives you the most fabulous deep impression it's just the it's just the way we're used to doing it and again on your rocker blocks just stick them onto your rocker block they don't need extra cushioning so just use them with your um, spray mount or a temporary adhesive stick them on and then you just stamp them out so what we're going to do is we're going to color her skin and i'm going to show you how easy this is to do skin because so again i know i mentioned this earlier on i've i say i've heard lots of times but i'm sure i've heard um people say that um skin tone and, and, and getting the right color of skin tone can prove to be very difficult if you don't have the right pens to do it. Yeah, and do you know what? What I love about these pens is you are able to layer that colour down. So I'm just putting on, do you remember the intensity that we could get from colour yeah. by going over and over it? So just put a layer down first. Then we're going to go in with our darkest colour around her hairline. So I'm using the fine tip just to enable me to get right into her hairline and just under here there we go but then i'm going to shift to the um the bullet the brush nib just to start shading down the side of her face and just shading in her cheekbones now this side of her hair this side of her face is going to be in quite a bit of shadow but look how she immediately begins to come to life so just down there, maybe under her nose is going to be a bit darker, down the side, just there, maybe under her mouth, tiny bit down the edge of her finger there. So you've got that shading. If you're looking at it going, oh my word, this is where you bring in your third colour. And I've got stuck with the tan from the sketching set. And what we're going to do is we're just going to brush. So what I'm doing is I'm just brushing the edge of that colour. Look at it disappear. Look at it disappear. Yeah. Look how easy this is to do a perfect blend on skin. Isn't this just sensational? So, Making it look very easy. So, but it is easy to do. It is easy to do. Really, really is. Because look, I'm barely touching it. I'm just tickling the edge of that with the lightest of touches just under the and under just under the edge of her skin i think this there. is where as i say I, i'm sure where people will panic the most doing different um you know doing different skin tones and uh yeah. you know, getting that, that that skin color exactly uh right but as we said you know what you can watch this demo back um to your heart's content and, and there's lots of um tutorials isn't there out there on, on, on there youtube are. and all, all free to get a hold of as well so if you're ever a little bit stuck uh, then there's plenty out there to help you but i keep harping back to it like coloring seriously yeah. if you if you give it a go and it's not quite right i mean what do you do try it's, again yeah i mean it's a bit of paper yeah it's a bit of paper and a card and yeah. do you know what especially with alcohol pens the best thing to do when you've colored something even if you're looking at it going oh i'm not sure is to go away and have a cup of tea and there's Is a very right? good reason that you go away and have a cup of tea. I'll tell you a story yeah. from when I first started to use these pens. I was doing something like this and I was colouring and it wasn't going where I wanted it to go. Yes. And I was getting so frustrated. And in, it was quite late at night. And in frustration, I went, oh, and I threw it in the bin. Oh. And I went to bed. Oh, dear. Well, the next day I got up. And went back into my craft room and the image was lying on the top of the bin and i looked at it again i went actually that's not as bad as i and what happened 
after I'd had a huff and thrown it in the bin and, and gone, gone, gone <gasps> to sleep, yeah. it had taken time for the alcohol to evaporate. Ah. And the next, the next time I looked at it, which is why I was saying go and have a cup of tea, in all seriousness, it will give you a moment for that alcohol to evaporate and you will see the exact image that you are going to get. So what you're seeing here is as it's evaporating and then I'm just going to put in a bit of pink on her cheek. You do see that here. though as well. And I hope you're seeing that at home. Is that I, I'm obviously watching it on like a, a monitor here in the um, in the studio as Fiona's colouring. You, you can see see that yes. sort of um, transformation take place. You know, as, as, as the alcohol is dry. It's it's incredible. So have a cup of tea. There you have go. Have a cup if of tea. Fiona's top thinking, tip. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Do you know the, it really is super easy to do now. I want. What do I want? I'm going to go for my fruit pinks, I think. So what we're going to do is just pop some a little bit of colour on her lips. I just saw you taking just some pens so. out of the tray there, by the way. Melissa has uh, asked a question saying, Yo, Ben. Yo, Ben. Yo. Um, how far would the tri-blends hang over those pen trays? So basically, do the tri-blends tri fit the pen trays? I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's easier to see than say, isn't it? All right. There you go. That's it. Can we get a little? So they'll still work. Oh. Well, a little way. There we go, Melissa. There we go. A little way. There we go. <laughs> just trying to just. Oh, I've, I've caused a right old problem now, haven't I? There you go. Round, 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 round. There you go. So you can see. I so mean... they're still going to be fine because, yeah. of course. You're not going to have them. And they're, they are balanced. They're not going to fall out. Yeah. So they're just going to stick out maybe um, a lid of one of the pens. All right. Uh, yo, Melissa, there you go. There you That's go. That's the uh, answer to your question there. Sorry, back, back right. to your Right. Can I, before we disappear, can I just show you something? Yes. Right, because there was a plan where I was going with this. Sorry. So there's her skin. You know, it's always good to have a plan. So you can see how that is developing there. Uh-huh. That's when I coloured oh, come on. earlier. Come on. And then look at this one. Ooh. Ooh. That's what's the yeah, slightly It's a bit more there? high def, isn't it? Yeah, HD. Bit more HD. That one's just got a little bit of colour blend pencil <gasps> over the top of it to make it pop out. So you can see you're going to take it from doing her skin. Then you're going to quickly colour in, and in fact, I used the sketching set for round here as well. I used the um, greens and I used the lavenders, which are in there. And then you're, you can enhance the colour. So that is what we're going to do next. I was going to say, if only we had those pencils on the show. Do you know, it's, um, it's amazing, isn't it, eh? Eh? It's like eh? we planned it. Like we <laughs> planned it. Listen, um, we're going to show you those pencils very shortly indeed. Uh, but listen, the starter kit, very, very popular. Do you know what? I, th I think it's great that we've got kind of um, ideas and um, prices for every single pocket. This is your um, your starter kit, which brings you that sketching um, collection, as we said. So 12 pens, uh, 12 markers within this collection. So you've got your daffodil and lilac, hydrangea and sunshine, uh, yellow, green and baby pink your um, fruit pink and your salad, your pale tan and that uh, pearl blue, and then you've got your denim and your apricot as well. If you want to be able to recreate that um, beautiful, beautiful um, picture that uh, Fiona's just done there, there's your mother nature. That comes with it as well, that rubber stamp. And you've seen how you can cut that out. And then you're also going to get this beautiful butterfly as well. Uh, that is also included, but don't forget, not just the 12 pens, which are here, you get those two stamps as well, and of course you get your rocker block and you've got that ink pad included too. I think that's a great deal. For, for, for those of you who are perhaps looking at this and thinking, oh yeah, I, w I would kind of quite like to give it a go, but you know, I don't want to stump up the 100 today. 37.46 or 59.84 gets you that starter kit. And honestly, once you get these back and start working with these, very quickly you're going to come back and buy more of these um, illustrators because they're so, so simple uh, to get working with. Right, we're going to come back and look at those pencils, but we're all getting very excited here at Crafters TV because uh, starting very soon is something very special. Have a look at this. Ready for some fun? 
our biggest celebration ever is right around the corner. So head on over to the Crafters Companion website and let's get carried away. Um, Melissa has just got back in touch. You know Melissa who said, yo Ben, and I went, yo Melissa. Uh, she was asking about the, uh, the trays. She said, sold. There we go. Excellent. So, excellent news. Always, always good to have a happy customer. That's it. That's it. Now listen, always good to have happy customers. And I'll tell you what, you will be a happy customer if you get your hands on these um, colour blend pencils. Right. Um, these are brilliant. And, and what I want to show you is the, um, the bundle that you're going to get and then some before and afters because honestly, quite simply, amazing. So um, you're going to get... I'll show you the swatches in just a second, but you're going to get a tin of your naturals, which is um, 24 of those. Um, you're then also going to get your um, your primaries included. Don't worry, I'll show you, as I say, the boards in a minute, so you'll see all the colours. You'll get your florals as well, uh, plus your essentials and your shade and tone too. And you can see each and every one of these, you've got these absolutely beautiful, beautiful pencils. Um, which of course will work beautifully on their own, but will work in conjunction with your markers too. Um, the colours that you're going to get, if I just quickly show you the boards here, um, are thus. Um, again, pretty much all of the um, colours that you would require from your um, naturals, which then go through to um, all of your essentials and your um, florals as well. I mean, so many different colors, as I say, you're not gonna be left wanting here. And then uh, finally, as I just showed you, you have got um, all of your primaries just here and then your shades and your tones included as well. It's 120 pencils within this bundle, uh, saving 41.95 or uh, 57.75 today. Um, and just to kind of show you, because this, this to me, well, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw this earlier on, right? So we've got some befores and afters here. So this is with your, um, with your pens, but then using the pencils, whoa! Are you kidding me? It that just, is off the charts. It just adds that extra bit of depth and dimension. It's a fantastic way. When you're using um, alcohol pens, what the thing you'll realise is you get to a point where the paper is saturated. You can't add any more alcohol to them. That is when these pens, which are just delicious, turn into the most wonderful magic because you can then add those like, over the top of your alcohol pens. I mean, they are just stunning, aren't they? Next one then. Beautiful. Right, I mean, that is nice. Really beautiful. But hang on a second. Boom! Oh! Come on! Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, that iris is just amazing. I think it goes portrait rather than oh, landscape. Oh, yeah, sorry. That way? That'll do. Yeah, there we go. My bad. Absolutely well, gorgeous. That Isn't well. that stunning? I mean, it's just beautiful. It just pops, doesn't it? It's the richness of colour that the pencils add. And this one's my fave. Just checking I've got it the right way now. Okay, that is gorgeous. I mean, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'd but, be very happy if I coloured that. But would you be more happy if yours looked like this? I feel like I'm at the opticians. Is it better or worse when I do this or this? Wow. Look at the detail. Wow. It just brings it to... It's like the difference between seeing in um, 3D, you know, and HD. You yeah. know, it's a standard TV or HD quality. Amazing. And that is what your pens will give you every single time. I love them, Ben. I really do. Um, so just to say, so these are a great addition to go with your uh, markers, but yeah. you know, obviously a great thing to use individually as well, right? Yeah, absolutely they are. So I'm going to show you some samples that I've got here. So this Go is on. all coloured with pencils. Isn't that just stunning? So huh. that is all pencils. This is the pencils on um, vellum. Look how delicate that is you get because these are wax pencils there are different ways that you can blend them but you can also do fun things like you can use some cross hatching or maybe look at wow. this oh, isn't that's... that just stunning but is I that just with the pencils? that's just with the pencils these pencils are so so vibrant you can use them on black card look at that huh and the colour, these have got the most amazing pigment in them. That shine that you're seeing is from the wax. So you've not added anything to... No. To, 
No, that's that. That's pencil only, Ben. That is amazing, isn't it? That's a Mo Manning digital stamp that was coloured by an amazing woman that it is part of our team here called Linda Hill. But that is just pencils. But again, look at this one because that one is pencil only as well. Oh. Just using grey cardstock. Isn't that just something? I think just she's added it, a bit of gold. See the... Yeah, you can see you can see the flash. Now that flash is coming from the wax which is in these pencils. It's that wax which enables them to blend beautifully. And do you know you are just gonna love them? I am gonna have to show you them because they are sensational. You know, they they must have. Um, the colour blend pencils are often overlooked. They really shouldn't be because they really should be in your um, crafting stash because they are out of this world. They has, really are gorgeous. Has anyone else just picked their jaw up off the floor? Aren't they amazing? I mean, that's amazing. Incredible. pounds or $117. Um, the thing you're going to tell us now, though, of course, is that you have to be some kind of like wizard or, you know, you have to go and study for weeks upon end to be able to create that effect. Yeah, you really don't. You really, really <laughs> don't. You really, really don't. Look at this. This is a bag I'm working on at the moment. This is actually just a little cotton calico bag. You know, one of those cheapy cheap shoppers cheapy cheap yeah that i'm working on at the moment wow so that is colored direct with the pencils onto the calico isn't that pretty because how these pencils work is they work with the tooth of whatever you're working on whether it's calico or whether it's card i mean they're just amazing do you know what it's funny you should say all loads of people now are saying hang on a minute i've got these i love these pencils says eleanor i would love um to get them to color with my classics lynn saying i love using my spectrum noir pencils with my spectrum noir pens when i first tried it i was amazed so even mm -hmm. somebody who's trying it for the first time um how amazed they were at the results that um that they got what are you going to show us with these because I'm, okay. I'm excited there are a few different ways that you can blend with these pencils. So I'm just going to show you very quickly and then I'm going to show you how we do that image. So there are about three different ways you can blend with them. The thing is with the pencil, when you're using these colour blend pencils, what you've got is one of the thickest cores in the business in here. You have got, that is absolutely jam-packed full of pigment and very high quality wax. This is the difference from buying a candle from your corner store and going to somewhere like Joe Malone's or, you know, the White Company or maybe Yankee Candles to get one of those top of the range, yeah, like neon yeah. candles. The wax is different. The wax in these pencils is different. Now look, you can, if you hold the pencil at the very tip and just color, you can lay down, can you see? you can lay down a light layer of colour. And what you're trying to do with when you're working with wax pencils is if you could see this cardstock under a microscope, mm. it's not flat. It has like little divots in it. So what you're trying to do with the wax pencil is you're trying to fill up all those little divots okay. in the cardstock because that is how, then I move that pencil down and I'll go again. So I've got a slightly heavier pressure now now look, I'm filling up that bit a wee bit more. Can you see? So that colour is getting deeper and darker. Mm -hmm. If I go down right to the end, so I've got equally a heavier pressure, I can get that yeah, yeah. deeper still. Now, you use that, you'll get to a point where you can't get any more wax pencil in there. You know, you get to a point where you filled it all in. You yeah. filled in all the little nooks and crannies. There'd be a while to go with this one before I did that. So, but what you can do because you have got this ability, you can blend them. Look at this by layering the different colours. So this is the colour I'm working with. Yeah. There we go. I'm working with that incredible mango colour. Yeah. But what I'm doing is layering it over the blue, and then we'll go in and we'll put another layer. You can see I've moved my hand back down the shaft of the pencil, so just light pressure, another layer of that blue so going on. So it's almost, on. again, like holding it like a brush, isn't it? The yeah. way that you're, you're holding the pencil, the, like how far down the pencil you're holding That's it when it. you're using and it. And do you know what? It is just, there is something about colouring which is sensationally relaxing. Yeah. Look at that blend of colour. So one of the ways you can blend pencils is literally as I'm doing now you can blend them pencil into pencil to create new colors like this 
Isn't that fantastic? It's mesmerising and, 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 you know, these colouring shows are always very uh, relaxing and you find yourself getting, you know, lost in the demonstrations. But again, just seeing how this, um, how this blend works is, uh, yeah, it's quite remarkable. Isn't really. it lovely? And I mean, that is a completely new colour green that we've developed there. I mean, just look at that from that deep blue into the green, into the yellow. Now, what you can do... Do you know, these pencils are such high quality. I cannot believe that you've got them on that deal. For I mean, you have got 120 pencils in here. Now, a, an artist quality pencil, which make no mistake, is what these eat, these are, two or three pounds each normally. Yeah, works out per 70 pencil. pence. 70 pence per pencil we're talking about. Do you know, today. that's daft. That is daft. So, look, this is another way you can blend. So just using dry blending. So I've just followed, folded a piece of... Um, Car, uh, tissue and you can just use the tissue itself huh. to blend look at that so you can use that tissue just and that will give you almost like an eggshell finish you're yeah, just look at the blue particularly you can see yeah i mean just look how it just and there you can see that's yeah. what's happening i'm blending those because what that friction is doing is just releasing that wax so you get the most incredible shine and eggshell finish if i tip that can you see yes, you that can. sheen on the pencil which is what we were seeing earlier on in this finished picture absolutely and the other way you can do it is you can use it with something like a paper stump and, and a blending solution this is like a mineral solution so you use a paper stump um, and you can you can use that mineral solution to actually release the pigment can i ask a silly question in the color you know, with the pencils, are you looking yeah. after them in a different way that you would look after normal pencils, i.e. when you need to sharpen them, for example? Uh, right. That's a really good question. I haven't brought my sharpener in, but I'll show you. Okay. I, I will show you because I can't find a pencil sharpener. Imagine my hand is a pencil sharpener. <laughs> There's a sentence this I thought is, I'd never hear you is, say. This is an easy. Yeah. Normally, when you're sharpening a pencil, you turn the pencil, don't you, you? You do, yeah. Yeah, you turn the pencil to sharpen it. Don't do that. Turn the sharpener. Ah. Now, you turn the sharpener because if you turn the pencil, you've got a brilliant cedar wood case here. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to put friction on that um, lead that you've got running through. Yes. So you, you don't want that shearing against your cedar casing. So you turn your sharpener and keep your pencil still. Right. That way it's going to sharpen beautifully. And the other thing is you keep them in the tins. Now, look, you've seen pencil into pencil dry blending with a tissue and with the blending solution if you want. So you've got lots of options. You can get this incredible blend. You've got 120 of the most sensational, sensational pictures. Now, look, I've got a little calico snowman here, which I've printed off on my home printer at home. This is just a calico which will go through your home printer. So, look, I can, I can go straight in and just add a little bit of colour. Can you see? Just straight on. It just Did you say you were using, the, were you using the pencils earlier on on that little bag as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, so lots of different materials we can use. Lots of different materials. But actually, you know, anything with a tooth. So anything that you've got with a, with a tooth. So think about things like your sugar papers that you might have at home. Um, your stamping card, your white stamping card is great as well, but you can blend that over. Let's go for a light. The thing about this is look how much choice I have got of colours. I'm just going to open these all up. This is, but look at, look at the choice I've got and of colours that I can use. I mean, they are sensational. They are absolutely gorgeous. This is my set from home and you can see... You can see which ones I use a lot. You can see which ones need sharpening in there. But I do keep them in their tins because that is the easiest way for me to get them around. And you're getting all of those, all of them coming. So do you know what? It's a great way of extending your range as well. Absolutely sensational. Um, Carol's asked, would you need to treat the fabric of that bag after using colour blend pencils to protect it? So I guess that's the same with any... Uh, yeah. Using it on any kind I'd of I'd iron it on the back. Uh, on the back? Yeah. yeah. I'd iron it on the back just to fix it, yeah. Um, but that's all. And uh, Sally, Sally's in touch to say, you know, we were showing those, um, those pictures. We, yeah, we were showing these um, pictures earlier. Um, and Sally was saying, I was so amazed 
by those pictures, I cut my matte and layers to the wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, back, I'm sorry, Back Shelley, to the guillotine, yes. Yeah, so, so, sorry about that. Let's just have a look at that uh, snowman that, uh, yeah. that uh, Fiona's colouring. Fiona, you're making people go wrong. But look, isn't that gorgeous? And again, I've taken a lighter blue this time just to start blending those colours down. I mean, he's just gorgeous, isn't he? So this is um, canvas that you can buy, which you can print out images. This was an image, a digital image I printed out. Um, there we go. But look, <laughs> he's just, he just comes alive, doesn't he? And again, on something like that, you would do the same thing. And then if I bring in this image, so I here mean... we go. And again with this one, if I wanted to add some depth and dimension, I would just go straight in so I can just, there we go. Um, honestly, do you know what? I think this is the third show we've done together on A Colour Me Happy and Fiona never ever fails uh, to impress and it almost seems like every single week she's got something else up her sleeve to oh, yes. make my jaw drop to the floor <laughs> about how great are these um, pencils. How great are the illustrators as well? I think the, the only problem that you've got today is deciding uh, which you're going to go for. Uh, but the, you know, if the budget stretches, the fact that the pencils work so brilliantly with your markers as well. I mean, just think of the different effects that you can achieve and how much fun. And actually, it's not a case of you're going to get these and then you're going to be needing to buy more, you know, a couple of weeks down the line. Oh, gosh, as with no. the pens and the pencils, th this is a it's kind of like a long term investment, really, yeah. isn't it? It really is. I mean, you are going to get so much joy out of these pencils. And do you know what I love about this? It's a bit like all of Crafters Companion and Spectrum Noir products. The thing which makes this for me is they actually do what you want them to do. And that is worth its weight in gold every single time. I love it. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got some questions coming in, which we will tackle yep. in just a few moments time. Um, but I think whilst we get ready to do that, let's give you some details about, because you know what, you look at these prices again, you see all the savings that you're making, but if you're in um, Club Inspire, you'll be at one of our levels, either um, silver, gold, platinum maybe, and you'll be saving lots of money um, by being in the club as well. If you're not, and you don't know about Club Inspire, here's a little video which will explain more. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. All right, let's um, get these questions to, uh, to Fiona. So um, I think there's three of them here. Katrina on YouTube says, uh, Fiona and Ben, don't ask me. Uh, <laughs> what's the difference between the colour blend and the colorista pencils? I have colorista, but not colour blend. Okay, there were two different types of colorista pencil. One was watercolour and the other was a wax base. So have a look and see which ones you've got. Um, the colorista range was our entry level pen. So that was real pencil. So that was really for people who were very new and just wanted to try it. Your color blender art is quality. I have to say though, I think for the price point we did the colorista, they are a very good pencil. So if you've got them, that's fine. And they are the wax ones, that's great, you can do it. But these color blend are the artist quality premium. A bit like the difference between the tri blend and an illustrator pen. Uh, Bernie Burnsify on YouTube says, what is the difference between colour tint and the colour blend pencils? Is the colour tint wax and not as bright as colour blend? Okay, we had the colour tints were just a different colour range. Right. A different colour range. So the colour tints came out, they're in the packs of 12, if they're the ones that I think you're talking about. Okay. So your colour tint ones... We did do some which were water-based though, so I, I can't, I, the name's just gone straight out of my head at the moment. But we did some sets of 12 
of the color blend pencils. The color tint ones might be the water-based ones with the 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 graphic. Okay. Yeah, that you could you add water to. So color tint or water-based. Um, yes. And one more here from I Catherine. I hope that made sense. Catherine says, please can you tell us if when you use the colour blends over the work done in alcohol pen, do you still use the blending solution on paper stumps or will this mess up the alcohol marker work? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can use any of those techniques I've just shown you to blend. You can blend pencil to pencil over the top. You can dry blend just using a piece of tissue to buff the surface to get that eggshell finish, that wax finish. Or you can use your uh, mineral solution to release the pigment. It really is entirely up to you. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Fiona. Get those questions in. Anything else you want to ask? I can't believe we've got 40 minutes left. Time well. flies in here. Um, anything you want to ask, any questions, anything you want to show us as well, you can uh, email us um, via the studio, like Rosalind Russell has done. Um, it's great to see what you've been colouring. Great uh, to see what you're up to. Take a look at uh, this. Uh, thank you for all of these. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Um, the illustrators, some metallics, aquas, and the sparkle pens there as well. You see that sort of the sparkle over the uh, the top of the house there. Beautiful um, snow. Absolutely love that. Uh, Michelle, wow, take a look at this. Um, that is gorgeous. What's Michelle used there? She uh, is that is that with the illustrators as well? Looks beautiful. gorgeous. Um, and then, well, I'm smiling because I can see what's coming next because I love this image. The little Shih Tzu with the, uh, the illustrators. How cool is that? But again, <coughs> exactly the same way that you were doing yours earlier on to create that um, depth of colour, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, absolutely gorgeous. This is the thing. They are super easy to use. And because you've got that beautiful brush nib on the end, you can get that wonderful look. And it's nice and easy with fur. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Fur, skin, hair. Folds in clothes, absolutely sensational. And I'm so glad as well that some of you have got the Connie Fong stamps as well, because um, we saw these earlier on. Teresa D'Amico um, has obviously been uh, using those. I love these images. They really, really are pleasing to the eye and just I'm just drawn to them. And um, what a lovely job you've done there, Teresa. Thank you for sending that in. Um, and even more here as well. Um, Sarah from, uh, is that Sarah from Australia? I think it is, isn't it? Yes, Sarah, thank you. Still with us. What time is it there, for goodness wow, sake? Wow, she, she's 20 a past trooper, three. isn't she? <laughs> what a trooper. I love that. I love those images, Sarah. They're beautiful. And um, actually, taking a bit of a leaf out of your book here, Cynthia's, um, uh, Wow. this was the Mother Nature, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's a stunning image. Um, the artist for that was a woman called Morgan Fitzsimons. She's absolutely gorgeous um, and she does all these beautiful beautiful images love them um, thank you so much everybody there is still time as i've said for you to send in any more um pictures anything that you've been coloring we would love to see studio at uh, crafters companion uk. i'm having trouble with that today um and also if you've got any questions anything you want to ask Anything in particular that you want to see as well? Because Afiyan is brilliant, actually. Just, you know what, going, OK, I can show you this. Like, I, I like putting her to the test because she's, she's very good. Mm. Um, so, but <laughs> anything that particularly you want to see or a particular colour that you want to see, just, you know, um, uh, put onto a bit of paper, onto a bit of card, we can do that for you as well. Main collection details back on your screen, though, here. All 40 markers, the 23 stamps included, the rocker blocks, and of course, you've got that ink pad as well. Uh, but I think it's time that we come back over to you. What are you doing next, Fiona? Okay, well, you were talking about um, that image, the Connie Fong image yes. that I did, which reminded you of the colour tinting of photos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Photo. Black ah. and white photo on glossy card, just printed out from a printer at home. So take your pen and what you can do colour is in a photo. you can colour in your photos. And because you've got that grey scale underneath, because the ink, alcohol ink is translucent. So what you can actually do is just colour this. Can you see? So all of that shading that you've got in the black and white photo means that you can cut. So this could be flowers. This could be the bouquet from a wedding that you're just going to print out the picture and just add a highlight to one piece. Now, yes, you can do this on a computer if you're that clever. I tend not to be. But this, this way just works for me. Look at this. Can you see how that is really making that image just pop. Isn't that gorgeous? 
absolutely stunning. I... So if you do nothing else, go print off a load of photos onto glossy paper this winter and do your own wonderful photo images. I would images. never, Look at that. ever, ever have thought of doing something like that. What a cool idea that is. Isn't it good fun? And you've got those holes, you've got what, 40 pens to choose from. That's 40 colours. Well, let's take the blender out. 39 different colours that you've got, you can get started with this. That could be somebody's face. You could tint their face. So almost taking like some black and white photos from back in the day, maybe, and what, then just yes. scan, scan, scanning them? Yes, scan them. Yeah, and especially if they're precious memories. Yeah. I've got some precious ones of my dad um, from about 1936, 1937, and they've been colour tinted. And they're gorgeous when he was about 16, 17. Absolutely stunning. They're very treasured, very treasured. I mean, how cool is that? There's so many different things that you can do. I know you're going to give that a try. Absolutely, you are. Brilliant. Um, 40 mar uh, markers, 23 stamps, the rocker blocks, and of course, you've got the um, uh, the ink in there as well included. Uh, Mary on Facebook just saying, love using my colour blends to colour on vellum and parchment as well. Lots of different things um, that you can use all of your pens and pencils on uh, as well. Don't forget, as I've said, if you can't stretch to the 100 or the 148, these are on a 3 for 2 as well for you individually. They're 9 99 each. And I think that's worth pointing out because actually, the, when you think they're 9 99 per set, that points out the value for money that you're getting here because you're getting the 10 sets of uh, pens and then we're also in the main collection giving you the stamps, the rocker blocks um, and your ink as well. However, if you just want to dip your toe in the water just a bit, see what all the fuss is about with these illustrators, you can go 9 99 individually or on a three for two as well. Lots of ways to uh, get into your colouring and uh, lots of ways for you to be able to, uh, you know, Fit your budget if you like. Right, what can you show us next? Okay, so do you remember we did, right at the top of the hour we did some layering where I coloured one layer and then overlaid a colour first and these were the colours I used. I used the basic set, denim, canary and poppy and you can see the numbers there if you're more of a numbers person than the names. So I've got the very same image here but this time we are going to use a different way. We're going to do some palette blending. So Ooh. I'm going to bring this image down just down here because I'm going to scribble oh, just onto, your glass mat. onto my glass mat uh -huh. and I'm going to use my yellow to pick this up and then we will start to blend oh. that colour. Hang on a minute. Down onto there. So I'm actually mixing the colour so it's like a temporary as blend. I go. Yeah, absolutely. Just absolutely. So I'm just using the tip of my pen just to pick up this colour. And as you can see, as more of the yellow ink comes through, I'm getting that beautiful orange grade on the pens. How easy is that yeah. to get the most wonderful, sensational blending going on? And this is what I mean about these pens. You know, yes, you can spend ages and you can learn how to colour, but because you've got that brush nib, look at that. Look at that. That is just stunning, isn't it? And again, you're not ruining your pens by no. doing this technique because you can see how it kind of blends out within about three or four strokes. That's it? it. That's it. So you can add some more on if you want it. And then when you want to clean your brush nib, you just do that until it comes yellow again. That is so simple, easy, isn't it? I'm going to carry on and do a bit more of that. And then I'm going to do the leaves as well. I mean, there's so many different ways for you to kind of get the, the, the blending idea, isn't there? So yeah. like you said, you don't have to be worried. And that, seriously, you're seeing now, has got to be one of the, one of the simplest ways to do it. Yeah, it really Even is. Even I could do that. Even, yeah, Ben, definitely you could do this because that is super, super easy. And you know, one of the nice things, I'm going to do one of the colours in white because actually one of the nice ways of using this technique is if you use a blender and one of your pale blues uh, because white is notoriously quite a tricky color mm. to color so we're going to make this one i don't know we're going to have an orange daisy here because it's my world and we can yeah or an orange marigold but i'm going to do one of them like a standard daisy just to show you how you'd use your blender pen in the same way what are you so, using cardstock wise as well a few people have been okay i use a marker cardstock yeah um 
or you can use Nina now. The good news about the Nina is we've been told we are going to have that Nina back for birthday week. Oh, excellent So news. grab your pens and then be ready to snag your set of Nina cardstock when it comes back in. Goes quickly, doesn't in it? In birthday week, absolutely. Um, but yeah, any cardstock made for alcohol pens would be great. Now look at that. How incredible is that? We'll clean off the pen and then we're going to use the blue and the blender to just turn it to do a sort of white for this little little fella here. So this I've got blender again here. worth its weight in gold, really, isn't it? Yeah, the blender is a sensational, sensational extra to have. So I'm only going to pick up a tiny amount of it. Yeah. And let's just look. Oh, the yeah. tiniest amount of blue but look really really pale in fact you could probably go even lighter with that look at that can you see so white if you want something to appear white sometimes it's easier just to add a little bit of blue note so imagine all those snowmen you're going to be coloring i know for for winter for your christmas cards that is how you are going to do it but what you could also do if you wanted to is you could use your blender to to mix the colors together so here we go i mean the blender is worth its weight in gold it really is it's worth grabbing that set that's in the essentials isn't it it's in the essential set because you can use the blender with your tri blends with your classics now look it's still that that flower is still predominantly white yeah but it looks finished now because it's just got that little bit yeah yeah I of know what you color mean. going on in the center you've that's not done all much you need. with it but it tiny looks like amount. you've done a lot with it that's the thing isn't it there, tiny tiny amount so i'm just going to put some of my yellow there and you've got that blue there so now again i'm just picking up a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the yellow and then look at this yeah wow so you can if you want to use your blender pen if you just want a hint of a color going down there and is it the same again when you finish with the pen just you just literally just scribble it out yeah. almost on the yeah look i'll show you i'll just keep going until yeah. all of that color has disappeared from the pen because it only takes a few strokes and it's gone can you see yeah Julius. so if you want really delicate coloring use your um blender pen to almost get that almost transparent look going on julia has just said i've never seen this technique with the blender before ah yeah good it's always nice that some somebody's picked up something new they can play with yeah i just think it's incredible and again when you think of all of the different things that you can do this blender pen as well like you said yeah. You know, maybe if you're going for a three for two, definitely put the essentials yes. as one of the three, I would Absolutely. say. Absolutely, every single time because you're going to get what you're going to get what you need out of it. I mean, mm. it's just sensational, isn't it? I love that. Look at that. Wowzer. And then of course, if you do the whole image, I mean this one I didn't do the white daisy. I just did the whole lot. But how fun does that look? It's just really bright, cheerful and happy and that's what this show's all about color me happy see what we did there honestly how good are these illustrators how good are those um uh, color blend pencils as well hopefully there's something for you on this show and as we said hopefully uh we've managed to help you out as far as budget is concerned as well if you can stretch that 100 pounds i think is a brilliant deal because as we said you're getting all of the pens they're 9.99 a set you're getting 10 sets but then, so that's pretty much your 100, isn't it? But then you're getting all of those stamps included as well. You're getting the uh, rocker blocks to ensure that when you are doing your stamping, you're getting a perfect stamped image every time. And then of course, uh, you have got your, um, your ink included as well, that pebble, which is just gonna work perfectly with all of the stamps and then with your, um, your illustrators as well. It should be 144.82 or um, 100 and 212, 14, wow. A hundred pounds or a hundred and forty-eight dollars, and again, use your uh, Club Inspire, of course, twenty percent if you're platinum. That comes down to uh, eighty pounds, and then that's down towards what, like nearly a hundred and thirty dollars, isn't it? Calms down, yeah. Uh, so so low. Now, if you're wanting other amazing images to um, to colour as well, take a look at these. 
We had some um, Molly Harrison stamps actually on, there we go, so you can see them, um, on a show last week and they absolutely flew out the door. Lots of you love um, the images which um, Molly Harrison brings to us here at Crafters TV. Uh, this is um, a 32 stamp collection with three different themes, if you like. Um, this one we had recently, and I absolutely love this. This is called uh, Fairy Tale of Dreams, and you've got I mean, it's it's just like fantasy, isn't it, really? But you can see in here, you've got that um, pumpkin carriage, this amazing artwork, and then you've got a whole host of uh, different sentiments in here as well, including Dare to Dream, May Your Day, Sparkle. You can see it's very sort of Cinderella-esque, if you like, because you've got the little uh, glass slipper there as well, that pumpkin carriage too. Just absolutely love that. That one is included. These next two, actually, um, are new to me. I've not seen these two in the collection. Uh, this one is um, Martha's Garden. Again, take a look at the beautiful artwork. Imagine getting your illustrators on here, your colour blend pencils as well. Think about um, how much fun you could be having with this um, stamp. Uh, you've got uh, Just To Say, um, I Miss You and Get Well Soon. And then also included um, in this bundle, you have got the uh, Lily of Love. Again, you've got that uh, sort of uh, fairy sort of pixie character there with some um, beautiful imagery to colour. Enjoy your special day, uh, my friend, and thank you are just some of the um, sentiments that you're going to get. Uh, $9.99 each or $14, but you're getting the lot today. And look, just to show you um, a few of these, for £17 or $26. Again, get your illustrators in there, um, get those um, pencils going in there as well. I mean, take a look at this, absolutely beautiful. And that's what I love about these, depending on which colours you use, uh, depending on which mixes you use, you can really change up how all of these stamped images look. Something which can be quite grown up to then something which can be, you know, uh, maybe a little bit more playful. I really, really like these stamps. Got a lot of time for the artwork that we've got there. And then once you've got these uh, pens and these pencils to get colouring with as well, you're going to have so much fun. As I said, normally $9.99 for one, £17 or twenty-six dollars uh, today for all 32 of those um, within that collection. Now, uh, lots of you loving the trays as well. It's a tremendous deal we've got. Nothing. Um, you're going to get, uh, it's, it's kind of like a half price deal or we'll buy one, get one free almost because you're getting 12 trays uh, for that price of $19.99, normally $39.98. And as we've already found, these are going to be perfect for your illustrators. Uh, and also, for those of you who were asking earlier, your tri blends will fit in there as well uh, with a little bit of an overhang, but it is all good. So if you are kind of all penned out, you've got uh, pens all over the place, you want to make sure that you're keeping them safe. This is a great way to do it, a uh, great way to kind of maximise the space that you've got in your craft room as well. So 12 trays, that will hold uh, 144 pens. So again, Plenty of space off the back of, uh, you know, if you've got these illustrators today, you'd still have plenty of space uh, for more pens to add into your collection as well. So definitely take a look at those if it is um, crafty storage that you're after uh, as far as your pens are concerned. We are down to about the last 20 minutes. I cannot believe it. Love the show so much. Last chance saloon then to get in your questions and we'll uh, pose those to Fiona um, in the next 10 minutes or so. And last chance saloon for you to uh, send in your pictures as well because we love to see what you've been up to uh, over that side of the studio. Uh, well, Fiona's got some more for this sample. Yeah, I have because I thought do you know what? I've got an, a whole heap of absolutely gorgeous samples <laughs> which are coloured with the illustrated pens. That's the Queen of Hearts. I love that. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That's very sort of Halloween-y, I think. But you can do cute Aww. as well. You can get the most incredible depth and dimension wow. on things like your florals. But, you know, this hair looks stunning, doesn't it? All the little mouse, and we've got Aww. those very, very cute cats. Now, take a look Aww. at that. Isn't that Love the gorgeous? Cats. Really sweet. But you know, if you want to do natural coloring, wow, look at that. I mean, yeah, just stunning. You've also got these beautiful, beautiful pens. But look, I'm going to show you this one. There's an image which has been coloured and then overlaid with the colour blend pencils. Wow. How amazing does that look? It just adds that little extra wow. And again, I've got one more here, which again is beautiful. And then this one I just need to show you because it is gorgeous. Look at that. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't That's that stunning? Phenomenal. So, you know, these are going to take you from beginner to artist and everything in between. Now, yeah, the person who did this is an absolute artist, but you can, you, everybody starts somewhere. And if you have to start with coloring and flicking your pen, do it because that's how your confidence will grow. Absolutely, and that's the whole key here is, as well, yeah. isn't it? If you are perhaps short on confidence when it comes to your coloring, if you've got the correct tool for the job, if you've got kind of like the professional standard, if you like, you're already off to a great start, aren't you? You're already off to a, uh, a bit of a winner. And that's what we're giving you the opportunity to get your hands on here with these um, amazing illustrators. Looks like you're lining up a bit of a, uh, a family there, like you're gonna get busy doing something. What, what yeah, you got going absolutely. Over there? So I've got three pens from the Fiery collection. I've got Vanilla Mimosa and Coral from Fiery. And then I've got Burnt Orange and Cocoa from The Natural. And I've got that fabulous Fox printed out yes. just there so what we're going to do again just to give a hint of color so he's going to have pretty much a white tail so i'm just going to flick not a load of color but just a little bit of color into his tail there we go fox you get in your uh, main collection you as well, do by the way. get in stamps. the main collection absolutely and then and this again is a personal thing i like to go light to dark personal thing it means i know where i'm putting the colors that's that's the bottom line. That's all. Yeah, and if you go is. the other way, then isn't it harder then to almost correct yourself if you moved yeah. up to light? So I kind of sketch the colour in first in his tail, and then I'll start building the colour up in his tail. So we'll then start with the second colour going in. This is a really red fox. This is definitely a country fox. It's not a town fox. Oh, hang on a minute. What do you mean town and country fox? Different types oh. of fox. I, mean, I know there's foxes in the town, foxes in the country. Well, the, the, the foxes in the country always look to be somewhat healthier to me oh. <laughs> than the, the town foxes. Well, I suppose yeah. the foxes in the country have got, you know, the, the, the fresh food to kind of run after, haven't they? The foxes in the yeah, free range food. The yeah. foxes in the towns, I suppose, are going through your bins and stuff, aren't they really? Yeah. Gosh, they make a noise though. Oh, oh my word. We the first time you hear them you oh. wonder what on earth is going on honestly we're, we're lucky enough to live out in the um in the countryside and uh when we first moved out there took me forever to work out it sounds like yeah what, doesn't it i don't know what i don't want to say what it sounds like actually but it is it's terrifying the sound of a fox is terrifying it really um, is being woken up in the middle of the night and then yeah yeah we were asking our neighbors what, that, what on earth is that noise that we're hearing during the night and of, of course it's the uh the fox. I won't try and replicate because I know people are going to do the noise. No, don't, because it's an awful noise. It is an awful noise. No, I won't do no, it. No, it really sounds like, um, yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's not nice. It sounds and like... everybody who's at home who knows what that noise means, they, they will know. They will know. We don't need to, we don't need to gild the lily. I won't do it. Yeah. No. No. Fiona said no. You know me. I, I, I like doing my voiceovers. Idea. I like doing my sound effects. And I've been known to do, you know, when we were having the end of summer sale, I did all those bird sound effects for you. But I'm not sure a fox call is high up on my list of, you know, party pieces. Uh, I just encourage you, if you haven't, if you haven't heard what it sounds like, you can probably go on YouTube or, or wherever and, um, and, and, and listen to it. It is, a, it, it is a noise. It's a weird noise. Very, yeah. very strange. Now, uh, look. Noise. Look at the colour different I've got going in there isn't that beautiful and again just flicking those colors in absolutely stunning isn't it yeah and an interesting um, question um Jeanette Williams on Facebook is asking are the illustrators for um for beginners yeah. and actually I think they are because you know like um, producer Johnny was just saying th th this is taking it right from the very beginning it's just little flicks isn't it yeah nothing just too complicated flicks. at all Absolutely, there is absolutely nothing complicated in this at all. You're just going to flick in that colour until you get the look that you're going for. So look, I mean, that is just stunning, isn't it? And I think, again, you're, the, the more that you, when you get these back, the more that you use them and the more that you practice with them, the more confident that you're going to get. And I think it is that whole case of just going into this, thinking yeah. to yourself, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to have a bit of fun, because I know I said this about three or four times today, but what's the worst that can happen? Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? What is the worst that can happen? And I, I really do think very quickly, when you've got tools like this, when you've got these illustrators, they make it remarkably easy for you to achieve the results that you want to achieve, you know, very, very quickly, 
indeed. And, and that's it, you know, we're just watching this. It's just, just the little brush strokes, isn't it? Yeah. Just going back in. And just um, keep building the colour up until yeah. you're at a stage where you're happy with it. Look, I mean, just gorgeous, isn't it? And such a relaxing pastime as well. It isn't really it, is. It really is. Because, I mean, all you're doing really is just stroking the colour. Yeah. On. Look at that. I mean, that's a real bushy tail is going going on there. Now, this is the one I did at home and I left, left oh, the wow. white tip a little whiter. Yeah. But again, all you're doing there is you're just literally flicking the colour in. So look, here we go, the mimosa. You just flick a little bit under there, a little bit down his muzzle, maybe a little bit just down there and flicking up there. You know, that's done. And that's done pretty much, yeah. isn't it? Easy peasy. Yeah, and, and actually, absolutely. Um, in, in the words of my uh, producer, Johnny, he's going, do you know what? If you are a little bit worried, you know, go go for the smaller um, the smaller collections. Go for the three for twos because it really, really is something I think that you'll get into very quickly indeed. And it cannot be much more simple than what we're seeing here yeah. um, with Fiona. So if it scares you because you're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to spend £100, £148, what happens if I can't do it? Well, A, I would say you will be able to. But yeah. B, if you're a bit worried and you're thinking like that, then we've got the deals of the individuals for you. So you can buy the four-piece the four piece, um, sets for 9 99 or if you're then thinking, well, actually, I'd like a few more, go on the three for two. Definitely whack in the essentials there as well because you will get your, um, your blender with the essentials and then maybe go for um, two other colours as well. But honestly, get these home and just have fun with them. It's nothing to be worried about at yeah. all. It have really fun. isn't. I mean, just look, we're halfway there with, with Mr Fox anyway already, aren't we? Yeah. So, you know, you can then do that or if you want to um, mix the colour up a bit, you know, Add in that wonderful oh, red. Oh, wow. Now, there's a real red fox. But, you know, same kind of colour system. Really easy to do. So really that's your town easy. fox and country fox right there. Town fox and country fox. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. They're super easy to do. I love them. Um, you're going to love them too. Listen, we are rapidly running out of time. So uh, last chance saloon for those questions. Last chance saloon uh, to uh, get those pictures in as well. Individuals on the um, illustrators, $9.99, or as we've said, um, go for the, um, the pick and mix, the three for two. We're going to just come back to the um, pencil bundle um, because these are amazing. So 120 you're going to get uh, within this collection. So it's a, it's a whopper of a deal, really. Um, you get all of these. So they come in 24-piece um, sets. You're going to get in there um, all of your um, essentials. Um, then you're going to get your uh, florals as well. And you can see, again, just stunning. All of these uh, beautiful colours are included for you. Then we've got your, um, your primaries. Obviously, they come in these um, amazing tins as well, so you can keep them nice and protected. Uh, you know, keep them in there ready to go. You know, again, if you're thinking to yourself, well, actually, I might keep a few of these and then you know, give some as gifts. Imagine these as like Christmas gift ideas. Love them. That is the um, the naturals. And then you're going to get your shade and tone as well. Um, abso oh. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> disastrous. Do you know, I did that the other day when I was getting ready to come up for some shows and it's fun playing pick up sticks and I dropped well, every single tin. Well, I oh yeah, I remember you saying about that. I remember you saying about that. Normally, no, it's, it's only it's only the, the one the one tin. I tell you what. I'm shall, I show, shall I show some of my samples? Well, you can. I was going to show the before and after. Oh, you do really. that then. Well, I can't because I've got to pick the pick. You okay, show those. I'll do these. Right? I'll do these. Here we go. We'll start with some of these because they are I might be some time, Fiona. Keep That's talking. That's okay because I have got loads of these that I can show. They are incredible, aren't they? So you can go full on colour or if you want to, you just take a really cute image and just colour on the top. Or maybe you're just going to go for a gorgeous little floral. I love this little fella too. He just looks such good fun, doesn't he? Or maybe. I can't see I'm picking up pencils. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Well, do you know what? The viewers and I are having a lovely time. I know. There I'm, we go. I'm not. Look at all of these. Aren't they just sensational? The colours on these are incredible. Now, look at that butterfly. How vibrant is the colour of these? And all of these that I'm showing you now, these have all been done 
with pencil. So there we are on craft card as well. They're going to work beautifully well every single time. And of course, don't forget. Oh, wow. You can color black card with them as well. So clever. I love them. Right. Um, I'm, all, I'm all tidied up over here. Good. Uh, just to quickly show you some befores and afters. So, and make sure I've got these right around first of all. Oh, I'll sort it out in a second. Right. So, you have got a befores and afters. So, this is using your illustrators and then on top of that, using your um, Spectrum Noir Color Blend pencils. So, something there which looks amazing, but then when you add the pencil, wow. wow, boom. It's like you said, it's almost like going from sort of standard definition to high definition, isn't it really? That's yeah. what you're going to get. Now, um, next up again, just to show you here, that looks amazing. But then when we add the pencil, boom. I mean, it's just another level, isn't it? It's absolutely unreal. And then, this is me fave. Beautiful butterfly, looks amazing, out of this world, but hang on a minute, boom. I mean, seriously, seriously, yeah, that wow. is stunning. And this is the kind of thing that you can achieve um, with the blend of these pencils as well. £83 or $117 for the whole bundle. Um, 70, uh, 70 pence per pencil that works out at. Um, just whatever you do, if you're showing them to your mates, don't tip them like that because they tend to fall <laughs> all over the place. And it's a lovely message I just must just quickly read out from Crafty AJ on YouTube. He says, encouraging people to become crafters is one of the most positive things to come out of the health crisis well done cc well this is oh, the thing isn't it so absolutely. many people find um you know great comfort in crafting and it really is especially coloring isn't it really good for mindfulness yeah Fiona. i think because you can just sit and concentrate getting ready for the show on wednesday i was just in my own little bubble in my craft room just coloring which is really good fun. Now this image that I've got here is yeah. just a stamped image um, of, a P of a Christmas rose. And you can see, just colored very quickly in alcohol inks. But we can add some depth and dimension to these. So I'm taking Poppy, I'm taking just three of my colored pencils. Now these are from the floral set. And all we're going to do is just add a bit of color a bit of depth and dimension into here. Now I'm going to colour, I'm going to blend pencil into pencil. So I'm just doing a very light colour of the red. And then we're going to take that out into the orange. Just People are thinking here. today, like going for their first set of pens or pencils. Yeah. Would you say illustrators or the, the colour blend pencil bundle? <sighs> or oh, a tough one? Do you know... I, it, that that is Ooh, that, that is really hard because I would I'd be desperately saying both yeah. because they're both going to work beautifully together and it's it's like that's like saying who's your favourite child that's a really <laughs> really really right. rotten question to ask someone so I would say I love them equally oh that's such a cop out isn't it eh? yeah oh, an dear. absolute cop out but look at that. Look how much depth and dimension I've just added to that one petal just really, really quickly. And I haven't used any blending solutions. It's just lightly pencil into pencil and using the colours of the pencil just to pull the colours out. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, just lovely. Just, just gorgeous. And you know, the, the more you do this, because you won't be talking, that's the other thing, you know, the talking the whole time is completely optional. If you find it helpful, yeah, by all means, talk to yourself. Sometimes that's the best conversation you get. But uh, <laughs> that's what I'll be doing tonight. Otherwise, look at that. Now look at the dimension I've got starting to build on that flower. Yeah. If I bring in. That is incredible, isn't it? And that is your alcohol pens. And then you add in the magic, which is your color blend pencils. And they really are magic. Whether you use them on their own or whether you use them over your alcohol coloring, 
you're just going to love the effect that you get. You really are. Oh, as I said, and, and, and you know what? As much as Fiona always helps you out, and as much as the shows have been brilliant over the last few weeks, she hasn't helped you out as far as which ones do you go for? Because she loves the illustrators. She loves the pencils. I mean, if budget stretches to both, I mean, why not? Seriously, how much fun are you going to have using the two together, using the two individually, and all of the different blends that you've got um, as well? My, oh my, you are going to have so much fun. And as I said, this for me is all about giving you the confidence that you need uh, to become that colorist that you wanted to become do you know what i mean if, if, if you if you're getting sets like this which are kind of you know of that sort of professional level already you're onto a real winner whatever you're going for the color blend pencil bundle 120 for 83 pounds or 117 dollars or you've got that amazing bundle with the illustrators which we'll come back onto in just a few moments time um, I think that's the only decision that you've got. And as always, as we look at the main collection, which is, which is getting busy, a quarter of the stock, by the way, of this is gone. Uh, and just to kind of take you through that again, you get all of the different uh, pens, okay? So again, just to quickly go through these, you've got your basics, you've got your, um, your stylish, you've also got in there your uh, essentials, you've got your naturals, you have got your fiery, which we saw a little bit earlier on. Then you've got in there your um, aquatic. You've got your botanical. You've got the uh, the verdant, and you've got your uh, delicates, and not forgetting uh, the vintage as well. So all of those colours included. Um, you've got that blender pen in there as well, don't forget. Then you've got the full range of um, stamps in here too. And I just want to quickly show you those again, the images that you're going to get um, on the stamps. And bear in mind, the pens are 9 99 a set. You're getting 10 sets, so that's pretty much uh, your £100 straight away. Then you're getting these stamps included as well. So this is um, your beautiful, beautiful flower. There's the fox, which we saw a few moments ago with um, Fiona, the fabulous fox. We've then got, oh, the catitude. Oh, we've got the hair. We've got this beautiful field mouse. And uh, then the uh, character, which we saw right at the start of the show, uh, this beautiful little Shih Tzu, the pause for thought. Those stamps are all included, all right? So 23 stamps. You're then going to get, to help you stamp to perfection, your rocker blocks, and uh, you're going to get your ink included as well. So it's almost, if you calculate it at 9 99 a set for the pens, it's like you're getting that and that bunged in for free. If you can't stretch to the 100, have a look on our uh, website, as I say, because you can then get the uh, sets individually, 9 99 or they're on a three for two as well. Uh, and just before we do wrap up, let's have a look at some yeah. more images um, with Fiona. Love this dog. Do you know, they, they are, I do. I'm absolutely in love with this stamp because it's easy to colour and because you just get the most fantastic, fantastic results. But, you know, equally, you can take that flicking idea and use it again to mo make the most sensational hair or fox. And there's another variation on that wonderful dog. But do you know what? You can use it with your own stamps, with your digital stamps. I love Grumpy that cat. cat. Yeah, that's me every morning before I haven't had my, before I've had my coffee. <laughs> but look, you can also do things wow. like that. That's like real artwork, it is. isn't it? But again, it's the quality of the stamps. But you know, it doesn't matter what your preference is, what kind of image you love to use. The the easier, the simpler, the better. Look at that. I mean, that in itself just looks sensational, doesn't it? Or maybe you're going to do a really simple little flower, or maybe you've been following some of Baz's work and you're going to create oh, yourself yeah. your own mandala. Yeah, it's entirely up to you. But whether you're a beginner or whether you're a seasoned crafter, the pens will take you through that whole journey, and that's why they're fantastic. And then if you add in the pencils as well, wow. Um, again, wow, there's winter sorted. Yeah, absolutely, isn't it? Uh, and I tell you what, another brilliant, brilliant show. I love the Colour Me Happy shows, and uh, particularly when the Demo Queen herself is in town. Uh, when are you back next with us? Uh, sometime in November. Oh. Watch this space. So, yeah, happy birthday to Crafter's Companion. I hope you have an amazing time, and I will see you on the other side. Well, we shall certainly look forward to that, whatever that might be. Um, remember to check out your, uh, your baskets after the show. 
go for one of these, seriously. Um, what a great bundle, whichever way you go. Um, I'll be back with you tomorrow. We've got a uh, masterclass tomorrow at uh, one o'clock UK time, eight o'clock on the East Coast, 5 a.m. West Coast. That's me and Debbie Robinson. And then tomorrow, uh, I think Fast becoming one of my favorite shows after last week's. So we're in the Craft House at 4 p.m. UK time, 11 uh, East Coast, 8 a.m. West Coast. It's a special one because it's me and Craig and we're also uh, going to be chatting to the very talented um, Sharon Callis, um, a, a lady who I've had the pleasure of working with before. Very talented, lovely, lovely lady that you are going to absolutely love. Uh, so that is what is coming your way uh, here tomorrow on Crafters TV. Have a brilliant Friday. Um, have a great time. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully we will see you tomorrow here on Crafters TV. But for now, ta-da.